And hey man, it's gonna be a little harder than I thought tonight. I just sweat out two of the drinks. It takes time to blow. Say it ain't so. Stuck in the Every time, man. Every time they put Vegas before LA. <laughs> One of my best friends from home was a bass player. Unbelievable, you know, unreal bass player. I played with him, I jammed with him in Atlanta, and he said, you know, I'm going to this school in California, you should come out. I'm like, man, LA, you know, like I'm just a little redneck from Georgia, and I don't know if I'm prepared for all that, but, you know, he convinced me to come out, and uh, the first person that I met, purple hair down to his ass, John Frusciante, playing a guitar that had nothing but naked girls all over it that he made himself. I didn't know who the f he was and no one did, you know, he wasn't in Chili Peppers yet. I mean, the opportunity I had there was outrageous. I mean, you know, Joe Picaro was rudiment teacher, Steve Houghton was there. I mean, they had monster teachers in there and I didn't go to any of them. I'd walk around the hallways there, you know, I'd be like, it's crazy, man. All these dudes can play drums, man, and I can't play shit. I felt like I, had, I just couldn't absorb anything. I was so overwhelmed, you know, at how good everybody was. So I'm like starstruck, you know, I'm like hanging out at Kix's apartment. I'm watching people, no shit, watching people shoot heroin right in my face, and I've never even seen, I've barely seen weed in my life and I'm watching dudes banging needles in their arms. I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, damn, man. I mean, there's girls now, there's drugs, there's all this stuff is so like, it's all real, you know? This sex, drugs, and rock and roll thing is all like real. Yeah, I absolutely 1000% can't hide it, flunked right out of my mind. Yeah, I mean, I just blew it, you know? The only thing I really got out of there was there were some teachers Joe in particular that saw me jamming one day and he said, you sound like you, don't ever really lose you. You know, like you sound like you. And that's hard to, that's hard to have, you know? It doesn't matter if it, doesn't mean that it's great, doesn't mean anything, it just means it's a little different, you know? Woo-wee! I mean, I was still, I was back to being a big fish in a small pond in Atlanta. So I was, it, it, it was a wake up call, you know? I remember watching these other bands we were playing with and they were bigger and they were getting all the attention and we were in this band and I kind of felt like we were being kind of laughed at. I played in that band Fairchild for like a year. Then it was Jet Black was the name of the next one. And the singer and the guitar player got in a fist fight the first practice I was ever at. I was like, this is crazy. I ended up playing two shows with them and then they got another fist fight and it was over. No more. <laughs> oh God almighty. <laughs> And I was like, damn, man, I think I'm just gonna put together, you know, my own band. And it was called Stiff Kitty. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> what does that Can't mean? strip this shit. I don't even know what it means. It's awful. We had a demo deal and lost our deal at the end of the year to Dave Matthews. Like they had one deal to give up, but it was gonna be us or Dave Matthews. Best decision they ever made, ever, was the sign of Dave Matthews. Oh yeah, it was rough. So anyway, that deal went away and I immediately said, I'm done with this shit, I'm out. I think I'm gonna put a band together with guys that are cool. I don't even give a shit if they're any good. They can be the worst, I don't care. So I got John first, the drummer, and he's playing guitar, he didn't own a guitar strap. So I'm like, perfect. First song that he had, the music for was Black. And that was like, you know, four years before it was ever out, you know. So that was the first song I ever heard him, him put down. And uh, so I just started pulling guys that were cool. I'm like, I'll take the cool guys, you know. And then the chemistry was built off that. It's the only advice I ever give to anybody is put a band full of cool dudes together. 
Because if you got the great players and they're all ego-driven crazies, you know, it's gonna fail. I mean, ours is gonna fail any minute anyway, because it's, we, <laughs> everybody's a asshole in this band now, but it didn't start that way. <laughs>